Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and this is your energy forecast for today, Thursday, January the 28th, 2016. And as always, thank you for taking time to watch, retweet, post, subscribe, become a fan, support me on patreon.com financially and even checking out my website when you feel led, intuitivemitchell.com. See what's going on there. So today your message is this. And again, reading Paul's book, but this is a message I've said before and it's one that many of us know. But you got to hear it again, I think, I think. So you live in fear, you're going to draw and create more fear in your life. It's that simple. And I'm talking just simple things. You know, if you worry, you know, you're not going to make it to work on time. That can be a tiny little seed that grows and draws more fear, which then may draw a car wreck, which may draw, you know, anger towards yourself or towards others. But just Continue to see where you are living in fear. And as always, I'm preaching. Ask your angels, ask your guides, ask those that have crossed over. Just say, hey, show me today where I'm living in fear. And show me how to release any of the fear so that I may live in joy and love and peace, more high vibrational um, energies and moment. So there's the message for today. So release the fear live in a much more love, joyous, peaceful place, which are all more high vibrational energies. So cards and numbers for today and tomorrow. So today, the 28th day, all the numbers add up to two. We talked about this yesterday. And two is very feminine. You know, it's that cooperation, unity, harmony, the feminine principle. Lenormand to go along with that is the book, 26, which is number eight, which is 10 of diamonds, 10 of coins. So the book is often about, you know, textbooks, reading, information. It can be like diary, hidden secrets, things that you don't know yet, un unobtained information that you can get, not unattainable, but that you just haven't found yet. And Tara to go along with that is five of coins. So this may be where you are reading about how to, well, not draw fear into your life because this woman is obviously fearful she doesn't have enough money. You know, so this may be reading a self-help book. Um, you're reading a book how to think and grow rich or how to, you know, manage your life just a little bit better. Um, this also could mean that you're, you know, reading stuff that continues to draw more fear into your life as well or take you down, you know, uh, the spiral of not having, you know, money and resources and finances or, or, fi or family. You know, and this also can be about relationships too. It's the earth element, coins, so it could all be about that. And again, today, two energies. So be, have the unity, find the cooperation, allow just a little bit more today with this potential written material and books. So for tomorrow, all the numbers add up to three, which is beautiful, playful, self-expression, creative expression, imagination, optimism. Three is all about speaking your truth, you know, saying what's on your heart and mind. And as I looked up, my timer said 303. It'll be different when you look at it because I have to blend everything together. Lenormand for tomorrow is going to be the fish card, number seven, king of coins or king of diamonds. So fish is often about going with the flow of life. It can be about money, resources. It can be plenitude, um, commerce, trade, independence. And then terror to go along with it is judgment. Wow, this, this is kind of a beautiful card. Actually, all four of these come together. So judgment is about being freed from the things holding you back. Tying that with the fish card, you'll be in, you know, because fish is about freedom. So this is all about releasing this fear, releasing this, you know, um, becoming more independent. So maybe this book, this information that you're reading or this stuff that you're going to get today is going to help free you from the fear, free you from the financial burden, and you can literally overnight turn it around. That's the one thing that I will say about this year, but also just about as the years go on. Things happen much more quickly. You know, people are getting educated faster. They are learning things quicker. They are manifesting. Millionaires are being born literally overnight sometimes. Um, you know, when a YouTube video goes viral, you know, it's a million viewers, you know. Um, so just, you know, know that, you know, what you're thinking can pop up quick and fast. And this, I think, is probably going to be the one of the big things that teachers like myself and people like me who do this work and who are really connected and, you know, spiritually, intuitively, you know, with source energy, that we're going to be able to maneuver so much easier than the average person. This is why I go back to, I've said it before, we're going to look like rock stars only because it's going to appear that we have it all together. I mean, we, we don't, 
But what we're doing is we're know, we know how to maneuver through the chaos, through the craziness, and everybody else is, is so far behind. So become mindful, become aware. Realize your fear draws more fear. Realize your peace and love draws more peace and love. That's where I think we're all going to find these amazing shifts and changes as we grow. And I think that's what's going to kind of, you know, separate the wheat from the chaff, if you will. So there's your message. Check out my website, intuitivemitchell.com. Um, you still have time to purchase the shadow, um, uh, excuse me, the ghetto terror spread, revealing your shadow side. I'm just doing a 15-minute reading FaceTime, phone, or Skype. It's going to be Saturday morning from 9.30 to 2. Go online, Intuitive Mitchell, book a session. You'll see it there. It's $25 and just a quick one. Different from the video. The video is a little bit less money, and I deliver it straight to you. This is where I get to talk to you in person, and Spirit can chime in a little bit more as well. Plus, it's a little more give and take. So, namaste. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.